When should you learn new algorithms? Well, it really depends on your skill level. If you're a beginner using beginner's method, you might solve this case using like four algorithms or more, and then two look OLL, PLL, you might use again four, well in this case three, because you already have um, the cross on top, and then full OLL, PLL, it's going to be two algorithms every time, unless you skip. And once you're at full OLL, PLL, that's when it becomes a question of should I learn more algorithms like COLL, ZBLL, etc.? You should definitely learn full OLL and PLL. If you want to be like sub 10, you have to learn those alg sets. That's about 78 algorithms. And then if you've learned that and you're still not sub 10, you might be like, I need to learn new algorithms, right? If I learn new algorithms, I'll be faster instantly. I'll get better times because I'm learning something new. But that's not the case. Because the more algorithms you learn, the more you have to recall, the more you're thinking during solves, and the more you have to recognize, right? So for this case right here, this is a ZBLL I know. But if I were to get this in a solve, I would know instantly, I could just do OLL, and then G perm, good angle, that'd be pretty quick solve to do that OLL PLL. But if I know the ZBLLs, I know all of them for this specific case. So this OLL, and then these two are adjacent. I know all 12 cases. So I see this bar, and these two are opposite. I have to think an extra, say, quarter, second, half second to recognize that ZBLL case versus just going straight into that OLL. So in this case, it's just soon, U prime, anti soon. And that's an easy, super easy case. But some of these advanced ALG sets, such as COLL, ZBLL, the algorithms aren't very good. And it's sometimes just better to do classic OLL PLL, which for example, Max Park uses and he's had tons of world records. So what you really want to be focusing on is things you're not very good at. Something called deliberate practice. You want to focus on um, parts of your solves that are the weakest. So if you're like, 15 to 20 seconds, and you know full OLL and PLL, you should not learn any new algorithms, right? Because again, when you learn new algorithms, your times drop at first because you have to um, take longer to recognize and think of that algorithm. But once you've practiced it and drilled the algorithm, then you start seeing some improvement. That's the case for any algs, right? But again, if you're 15 seconds full OLL PLL, you want to focus on your cross and F12. And make sure that is as fast as you can get it to. So you want to work on your cross, inspection, maybe predicting first pair. And then you want to focus on look ahead, right? Make sure you're not thinking at all during F12. You just see a case and you go execute it right away. So you want your solves to be as mindless as possible for the most part. If you have to think about, okay, what's this ZBLL for too long? So if you're like going like that, trying to recognize the case, if you could just do soon and h burn.